Now, I know you gentlemen had a long flight, but I have prepared a welcome party in your honor. Excellent. I like to party. <laughs> well, my job is to see to your every need. Do we just uh, select the woman we desire? I will take the large black one. Interesting choice. What? Did you have some kind of a book with photos of the women available to us? If not, I will also take the sexy black one. I am not surprised at all. I've been to South America. I did very well there. I think there might have been a translation problem. When I said party, I meant one that did not include sex for pay, but one that had food and drink and dancing, that sort of thing. So no women? No. Oh, we have so much to learn from each other. What kind of birds do you guys eat? Chickens. Us too. Amazing. What is this? Water. Uh, I'm sorry, agua. In our country, government officials drink only bottled water. Well, I can assure you that that water is very safe to drink. <laughs> no, bottled. Please, send the boy. Tom, go get water. Leslie, come on. For your troubles. You got it, Chief. This is a gold-plated replica of a gun Hugo Chavez used in the 1992 Socialist Revolution. It is a gift. This gun truly symbolizes the blossoming peace between our two nations. Jess, and we too are pleased to be here in your dirty alleyway. We thank you for the container of sap, the bag of garbage. It's funny because Antonio said to me, can we turn this car around and say we're sick or something or that we lost our way? Of course, that would be rude to you. <laughs> The banana you wanted, senor. Oh, finally. Jupil. What? With your hands. Jupil the banana. OK, let's get started, shall we? I have a full day of activities planned. I would like to see where the children are fed the sweeteners. A restaurant? American children are fattened more efficiently than any other children in the world. I mean, they're like little basketballs. I mean, they're huge. Little porkers. OK. This is our thermometer. I'm trying to turn a giant dirt pit into a community park, but I need $35,000. The city doesn't have enough money in its budget. I do not understand. You've never had a budget shortage? <laughs> <laughs> no. Venezuela is blessed with massive oil reserves. Massive, I mean, tremendous, like you would not believe. <sighs> the state sells the oil and keeps all the money, and and we build whatever we want. Wow, well, now I do not understand. <laughs> I feel like my English was very clear. Should I repeat? Venezuela, Venezuela, my country, has a lot of oil. Oil is food for cars. Everybody doing okay back there, comfortable? Well, the motel we're putting you up in is really nice. You can watch TBS. Do you have TBS in Venezuela? I have everything in Venezuela. I have four satellite dishes in my estate. We get 14,000 channels. 14,000. I already know who wins Project Runway. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm coming over to your house then. <laughs> I see what you're getting at, but no, thank you. I'm still primarily interested in the large black woman. Mm -mm. The parks in Barajo far superior. The park in my hometown, El Parque del Este, we have a monorail and we have an aquarium. And we have the Haripa Amphitheater, it's huge. Lady Gaga played there last week. Great, well, we don't have Lady Gaga. And I don't think she's going to come here unless her career takes a very bad turn. But we have something more beautiful than Lady Gaga, democracy. How do you like it? Ah! Oh! No! How do you like that? Ah! Ah! Now imagine you're holding coffee. This is outrageous. Where are the armed men who come in to take the protesters away? Where are they? This kind of behavior is never tolerating in Boracua. You shout like that, they, they put you in jail right away. No trial, no, no nothing. Journalists, we have a special jail for journalists. You're stealing, right to jail. You're playing music too loud, right to jail, right away. You're driving too fast, jail. Slow, jail. You're charging too high prices for uh, sweaters, glasses. You write to jail. You undercook fish, believe it or not, jail. You overcook chicken, also jail. Undercook, overcook. 
You make an appointment with a dentist and you don't show up, believe it or not, jail right away. We have the best patients in the world because of jail. <laughs>